legit, this real estate market is crazy. Hi, Jen Wayner, team leader of the Wayner Group, brokered by eXp Realty, and here is your market update for February of 2021. Right now, the market is so chaotic. I know you probably have heard about it. Median sales are up 18% at the same time inventory is down 61% from this time last year. It is really painful for both buyers trying to find a house and sellers, sellers who are getting 40, 50 showings in a day. And the crazy thing is luxury. Luxury is on fire like it never has been before. Luxury is up 140% over 3 million. We have not seen that ever in this market. So for buyers, is it a good time to buy? Yes. Is it a fun time to buy? No, no, it's probably not going to be unless you win the lottery. It might be more comforting to understand the median sales price has gone up 18% over the last year to 339,000 here in Phoenix. However, at the same time, rents have also gone up 18%. But because of historically low interest rates, your mortgage payment on a median priced home would be still roughly two to $300 less on average than it would be to rent that same home. It's also important to understand affordability. Here in Phoenix, we're just over 60% affordable, meaning 60% of our population can afford to buy a median price home. In 2006, that number was in the low 20%. But that's not even as bad as today in San Francisco. The median price home is 1.35 million and only 11% of the population can afford that. So when you look at Phoenix's market, we're still a very affordable place to live. And because so many buyers are moving from out of state, they're moving from areas that have these high median prices, high taxes, you name it, they move here. And because of today's atmosphere, they can live anywhere and work from home. So not why not work from home in a nicer place and nicer digs? Finally, it is a good time to buy because of the housing shortage. We have been underbuilding for the past 10 years and there's no end in sight to be able to build enough homes for the people that we already have here and moving here. Because of the housing shortage, you could be priced out of the market if you decide to wait. That cost of waiting is critical. My daughter bought last year for 300,000. Her home this year probably worth more 375,000. She would not be able to buy that home had she waited. The same thing can happen to you because there's no solution in sight for either demand to go down and definitely not enough for supply to come up enough to affect prices. So it is a good time to buy while it's still affordable, while rates are low, and while homes still exist in your price range. For sellers, brace yourself. <laughs> the showings, the offers are coming. Last Saturday, we had over 60 buyers come through our open house and we negotiated 14 offers on Sunday. We got well above ask price. That is just simply the story after listing, after listing. And for every listing we have, we probably have as a team at least 20 buyers for that listing. So even if we never were to list it on the MLS, we already know that there's demand because we have the buyers. Over 37% of homes sold for over ask price. And we talked about how the luxury market's on fire. We're seeing even new luxury markets pop up all over the valley with Gilbert entering the top five luxury markets. Congratulations, Gilbert. So no matter who you are as a seller, what price range you're selling in, you are in a great position to be in. It's imperative to know though, that you are actually navigating the best offer for the best price, the best terms, and the best convenience to you throughout the process. Because also things that we're seeing on our end are a lot of buyers canceling, uh, making sure we have backup offers in place, navigating multiple offers. Uh, if, do you want 50 to 60 showings every Saturday and Sunday, or would you like to have one day, we have one open house, we show all of our buyers that one day and we review all offers on Sunday, so you know, only inconvenience one day. These are all the tools in our toolbox right now that we're using for our sellers so that they can be assured that they are selling for the most amount of money given today's market and today's buyers, because today's buyers will pay more than appraised value 
so many times, more than often, they'll be waiving appraisals, they'll be waiving contingencies, easier to work with, you're in the driver's seat. So make sure that you're with an agent that can navigate the multiple offers, giving you the best price, the best terms for you, especially if you're buying right now, because it'll be a great time to sell, but possibly a harder time to buy. But when you're doing both and you have a good strategy in place, you're in the driver's seat as a seller, so you can have the best possible position to be in as a buyer when your home sells. So that is the market update. It's chaos, it's awesome, because that's what I thrive in. And we have all the solutions that can help you either find the house, get the house, and for sellers, sell your house knowing that you've got the best possible price and terms and the easiest seamless transaction. I hope you found this information valuable, whether you're looking to find and actually get a home or you're looking to sell a home with top-notch price terms and service, or you're doing both. I would be honored to help. And if it's even just a question, please reach out. I have a team of amazing, amazing agents, the best agents in the Valley, hands down. So please also, if you could like, comment, subscribe, throw a girl bone, need, need one in this real estate market, and I'll catch you on the next one.